Hello everyone and welcome back to the Trinity Online channel. Now for today's guide, I'm going to show you guys how to get the bird's eye view. Whether you want to take a screenshot or a video of the landscape of Black Desert Online, there is a way to create a bird's eye view. Now, some of you guys may be thinking I'm using the screenshot or spectator mode, which is whereby you press Ctrl U and then you use your arrow up key. Now, I'm not talking about this one because this has a limitation, okay? This is the highest view that you ever gonna get if you use the arrow key so what I'm gonna teach you guys today is another method that was told to me by my guildmate Lucy bear all right so in this video you're gonna learn about how to use an item to get a very high bird's eye view of everything all around you itself okay so first thing first some of you guys new players may need to wait a while before you get this item now for the old players you probably have it lying somewhere okay so I'm just gonna press escape and my number six is actually called the find item function all right so you can actually have all this shortcut into your escape menu and you want to type something like fire okay and you want to find things such as firecrackers all right all these items related to fireworks i mean i've played this game for many years so i've accumulated enough of them all right to freely play around so if i open my inventory this firecrackers even if you open it up in your inventory once you activate the item itself for use it will appear in your pearl inventory okay which is something like that so there are three steps to doing this okay there's three steps to doing is first thing first is of course to right click and activate it okay so you'll be activating it and then you press spacebar to go to observation mode and then from there on you can go into screenshot mode and you can go super high up look guys i am still going high up and there my character is way below okay this is what you call a bird's eye view of everything now on the right side of my screen you're seeing the so-called settings which you can actually change all the ambience like for example holding alternate left and right i can change different settings different night times and i love the fact that right now it has this bottom area that shows you what you're gonna get rather than you trying to second guess the mood itself okay so you will be able to check out all this mood intentions all right and then if you hold alternate up and down you'll be able to change the time of the day so this is something which is really really nice okay and then if you hold alternate shift this time around with a left and right key you probably will be able to change angles etc etc so first step again launch the firecracker second step hit spacebar to go into spectator mode after that you press ctrl u to go into this mode so that you can control the weather to get rid of the screen list on the right side just press f1 so this is how you get a super bird's eye view of your screen of the landscape of black desert online all right so you can see across the desert on the other end as well so i want you guys to take some time to search through your inventories again just to find out whether you have a fireworks firecracker go and launch it just remember once you launch it hit the spacebar button and to hide all the navigation etc all the menu you just press ctrl u and then to hide the main list of options just press f1 okay so i hope this video has helped you guys get this superb bird's eye view uh, one way or another so when you have all the fireworks keep it do not throw it away. I know sometimes it takes up inventory space. Well, you can use my wagon tutorial to get more slots and throw them in if it is possible. However, do bear in mind one thing. It doesn't actually take up slot. To be honest, if you open up the thing, it goes into your pearl inventory. Okay, certain items of firecracker type goes into pearl inventory, so it doesn't take up space. I know there are the ones that go into the inventory. This, you can just simply throw it into a wagon and there you go. All right. So when you hit escape, you come back to your normal view again. Okay. So if you have any questions about this video, feel free to comment in the comment section to let me know. And if this guide does help, give it a thumbs up like and please subscribe to this channel. Help me grow this channel further. You can visit my website for all the guides that I've categorized for you. Come to my Discord server for item coupon codes. Yes, we do have the first and fastest update usually by a lot of uh, channels out there 
and plus we cover SEA server codes as well as console codes not just the PC and Steam platform now if you want anything else just come and look for me in the squad I'll be sure to help you guys out I'll see you guys in the next video be sure to subscribe like comment and share the video bye bye